Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algos and go through a lot of leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button under this video. And let's go ahead and get started today with our question, best time to buy and sell, sell stocks too. So in this question, we're given a input array that looks like this. And um, if you haven't done the first version of this question, I will link it in this video somewhere so you can have a look at that too. Um, so the difference between that question and this question is that we are able to perform multiple transactions um, at the same time. Uh, so we can do multiple stock buy and sells, but we can't sell a stock um, if we, sorry, we can't buy a stock if we haven't sold um, the previous stock already. So let's look through this example to understand the question. Um, so we're given an array like this and it says that buy on day two. So if we buy when it's the lowest here, price one, and sell on day three, which is where price is five, we made a profit of four, right? And similarly, after we have done that transaction, then only we can proceed to our next transaction, which is to buy and sell again. So we buy the stock on day four again, which is where price is three, and we sell the stock on day five, which is where price is six. And so we get the total of these two profits that we've made, which is four plus three, seven. So if we look at the graph here, um, I have plotted out this array exactly. And what we can see here is that we um, make profits when we um, are going from a lower day to a higher day. So here is the case that is written over here where we have um, the profit of five minus one. So we went from a lower day in the previous day to a higher day, right? And uh, similarly here, this case six minus three, um, which is where we had a uh, higher day here and a lower day here. Okay, awesome. So let's look at some strategies on how to solve this problem. Okay, awesome. So we have visualized the problem here and we can see that um, the maximum profits that we can make is when we have a low day and then we sell it at a higher day and then keep selling it if we have a low day yesterday or the previous day and then a higher day the next day. So the sum of all these um, positive deltas is actually what's going to give us um, the answer, which is seven here, right? So let's go through this example um, to make sense of it more. So let's say I take the deltas of everything in this array. So remember that we can't um, sell something we haven't bought. So it's going to be this value, the next value minus the previous value. So it's one minus seven, that's why it's negative six. Um, and then same thing here, five minus one, four. So we can see that this is a positive value, right? Um, and then we have negative two, and then we have three here. So this is again, a positive value. And we have negative two here. So basically the idea is that we don't want to accumulate negative values towards our maximum profit because that's not a good strategy to make money when you're selling and buying stocks. So what we need to do is add um, these positive deltas to get us to our final answer. Now, what we can um, bring from this is we can derive some um, conditions in our code that we need to check. We need to have a way to check if our prices um, in the next day is higher than the previous day. So this is what we're checking, right? And to convert that to um, our system code, what we need to check is if the current position I'm at um, is greater than the previous position. So I minus one is uh, just getting us the previous position. So let's say I'm over here um, at five. So is five greater than one? Yes, it is. And this is when we need to accumulate and add to our profit. So that's the basic idea behind this problem. So uh, what you need to do is just check this condition. And then if this condition meets, then we add that to the profit. The other case to keep in mind is that um, if you continuously have a negative delta, so uh, there's no way for you to make a profit because you bought the stock on the highest day, um, you need to just return a zero. And uh, with our check where we are checking if the price next day is higher, um, than the previous day, it won't even hit this case. So we are good with um, just uh, initializing that profit to zero and then just returning the profit for this case. 
Awesome, so let's go ahead and dive into the code. So what I've done here is I've initialized the profit to zero and then we need to return the profit at the end. And what I'm going to do now is create a for loop. So for um, let i equals zero, and then actually we need to start at one because we are going to um, get the previous element, right? So we're going to check if that current position, so um, the loop is going to start here and we're going to check if this value is greater than the previous value. And when that is the case, that's when we need to accumulate to the profit. So that's why we're starting at one here. I is equal to one I is less than prices dot length and I plus plus. Okay. Great. Um, what we need to do now is put our condition in. So if prices I is greater than prices I minus one, this is when we need to accumulate the profit. So profit is going to be um, the delta of the price. So this is the values we have calculated here. So that's what we need to accumulate the profit to. So prices i minus prices i minus one. Okay, awesome. And we need to return the profit. Okay, good. So I will run this. Okay, awesome. Accepted and submit. Yay, success.